all of the other apps out there were really more of a tool, black and white. You could kind of feel that they were built by a bunch of tech dudes that were really passionate about this photography space. From a creator's perspective to a creator's perspective, we wanted it to be bold, feminine, fun. We wanted it to feel as fun as the act of creating. We never in a million years thought that we'd get it to this point because we really just launched it as a passion project and, and something that we really thought would be fun. I'm Tezza Barton. And I'm Cole Herman. And together we started a photo and video editing app that brought in over 26 million in 2023. We grew up in Utah and we met as babies. Our parents were best friends in college. We already kind of knew Utah was not the place we were going to end up. We really loved New York City. And in 2016, we made the jump, we moved there. Our main revenue stream when we first moved to New York was pretty much just my salary. I was actually working at a startup based in Utah at the time and convinced them to let me work remote. We could barely afford our rent. So we were trying a million different things, everything from starting a denim jacket brand to writing a book to selling online courses and guides to improve your photography. We started shooting together and really started kind of pushing how to post on Instagram, not just like, here's my outfit, but how can you tell a story and take it further? And that's when we kind of started seeing people really be interested and inspired and wanting to be a part of it. That's kind of when we really started taking it seriously. There were times when we looked at our bank account and it had negative dollars. So when all of a sudden, you know, someone's paying you for something you're creating, it's really amazing and also challenging. We used to make kind of our own collage wall out of art magazines that we'd find in New York. But it's actually shockingly expensive to get enough magazines to cover a whole wall. I mean, it was like 300 bucks to do something like that. And everyone was asking, how did you do this? How did you get you know this many images to make this thing happen? And we thought, you know, we can do this and we can make it available for much cheaper. The collage kit was a good learning lesson for us because it was our first physical product. Though there was so much interest and people were so excited about it, it didn't hit right away. And we were doing this out of our tiny 250 square foot apartment. We had boxes to the ceiling and like orders weren't rolling in at the start, but we learned so much about how much you have to market and showcase it in, in you know different areas. It's not just like, here's a product I created it, come buy it. After that, we launched Lightroom presets. So that was kind of our foray into photo editing. I was kind of one of the first in the space to give away my secret sauce, especially professional photographers. We're kind of, you know, keeping it a secret and cultivating that. And I just had learned so much from other artists that were willing to share with me. And so that kind of became my goal. Like I'm gonna let everyone in and they can learn and make it their own. I would say the three big ingredients are obviously the technical components, the programming, and then how it looks, and then how it works. We were lucky because we were able to combine each other's talents to do all three. My day-to-day -day was on the programming and kind of the user experience and design of it. I spend most of the time creating, you know, the presets, testing on every kind of image, making sure we have something that caters to everyone's needs. It started out just the two of us you know we had no team or investors or anything really really we started this without the intention of it becoming a business it was really started as a, a passion project a side project a way for us to hopefully get some extra income to pay rent and survive in new york city so we're creating a new support page in the tesla app right now we were building it probably from the hours of like 10 p.m to 3 a.m that was kind of our our time that we had it was a lot of 
tears and trial and error and thinking, okay, this is a dumb idea. It's never gonna work because we couldn't really get it for a long yeah. time. It was a struggle. But I remember once we finally got something working and looking the way we were hoping, the excitement and the joy was like, okay, we're gonna do this. Yeah. So we launched the app in June of 2018. It was so amazing that we were able to launch with a community of people that were already interested and begging for the product. It was red, we had chunky fonts. Yeah. You know, we spoke to our users in a fun way, like, woohoo, you saved your photo, like, sweet. Like, we just used, you know, kind of slang and lingo and made it feel much more relatable, and I think that really separated us from all of our competitors. Yeah. The growth was just pretty much fluid and steady. We had this amazing organic support from this really vibrant, creative, cool community that you know, was willing to share it and share that they loved using the app. That's what really started the growth for us. And I would say 2020 was a pivotal year where we realized, okay, this is a company now. This is no longer just a side project. We did do everything ourselves and letting other people in on it and also just trusting that that's going to you take it to the next level has been challenging for us as founders. But once we kind of started leaning into that, we've just seen so much more success. Tesla Pro is $5.99 a month, and Tesla Lux is $9.99 a month. So the different tiers are you can use it for free, you can edit your photos with some of our best presets, and then there's Tesla Pro, which you can use all of our film effects, you can edit single videos, you can use all of our templates. We have over 150 kind of editorial, really cool kind of magazine-inspired templates. And then on top of that, there's Tesla Lux, which lets you use Studio, which is our like big, full-featured video editor. We learned so much from launching physical products and then having a digital product, just being able to have something where you can just actually reach so many people, so many people can be a part of what you're building versus having this physical product and you can only ship to people in the US. Someone can post something about it and it can go viral or reach a ton of people in, you know, different countries all over the world. It's just pretty amazing that, you know, this, this digital product can be downloaded anytime, anywhere, and it doesn't change the cost. We currently live in Los Angeles, California. We've been here for about three years. I still think we live in New York mentally, but we're California people now. We have a daughter, she's two years old, and she's crazy and fun. Working with your partner can be challenging. I mean, it's important to kind of set your roles, especially once you start you know, running a company or working with other people. We don't really step on each other's toes, but we come together creatively with the vision. I think it's really important for me to also just keep a pulse on, you know, what people are interested in, what people are liking, how they're creating in general. One thing Cole always says is done is better than perfect. And that has been something we have used in our business all the time, because if we perfected something, we'd probably never get it fully out. But, you know, you learn so much by just putting something out and people will tell you how, how they want it to be better. It's hard to ever feel like you've made it because you keep getting inspired and you keep seeing like new avenues and ways to kind of reach people. We have imposter syndrome, I think, still. Sometimes we're like, are we sure? Like, why, are, why do people like this? But it's cool, but I think you can just see the passion and the community is really such a big part of it. They inspire a lot of what we create. It feels amazing looking back on just how crazy it was to start it all, and it feels a little surreal. We honestly feel just incredibly, you know, lucky and grateful that we get to work on what we love to do every day. It's okay. It's okay. You're welcome. Yucky. Yucky.